lesson 1.10, we're going to use place value to subtract. We're going to be doing regrouping. We can use place value to subtract three digit numbers just like we did for two digit numbers. We have our tens place and our ones place. We want to subtract and do 74 minus 58. We look at the ones column, that's where we start, and 4 is less than 8, so we're going to need to regroup. We take a 10 from the tens place, the 7 becomes a 6, and we give it to the ones place. So now instead of 4 ones, we have 14 ones. 14 minus 8 is 6. Now we use our new 10 that we have from regrouping, a 6, we subtract 5, and we get a 1. So 74 minus 58 is equal to 16. We can do it with three digit numbers. We have 4, which is less than 8, so we need to regroup from the tens place. The 7 becomes a 6. Now we have 14 ones minus 8 ones, which is 6 ones. 6 minus 5 is a 1, and we have a 3 minus a 1, which is a 2. So 374 minus 158 is equal to 216. When the digit in the subtrahend is greater than the digit in the minuend, we regroup from the place value to its left, the next larger place value. This 4 is less than the 8, so we had to regroup. Starting with the ones place, that 8 is greater than the 4. We need to regroup a 10 as 10 ones to the ones place. Now there are 6 tens and 14 ones in the minuend. Then we subtract the tens. 6 minus 5 is a 1. We subtract the hundreds. 3 minus 1 is a 2. And we have 216, 216 for our difference. So remember that this is the minuend in a subtraction sentence, and this is the subtrahend. Our answer is called the difference. And remember our rounding rule, if the digit to its right is a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, then it stays the same. The digit to its right tells it what to do. If it's a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, then that digit to its right tells that place value we're rounding to to go up one, then they become zeros. So one more time, if the digit to its right is a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, then the number stays the same and all the numbers to its right become zeros. If the digit to its right is a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, then the number goes up one and all the numbers to its right become zeros. Did you know that addition and subtraction undo each other? We can use addition to check our math for a subtraction problem. If we have 8 minus 3 and it's equal to 5, we can use 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 to check our answer. This is correct, so we know we did our subtraction correctly. We have related facts, so our math is correct. Same thing with three-digit numbers. We have 556 minus 237. This 6 in the ones place is less than the 7, so we need to regroup. We take a 10 from the tens place, from this 5, it becomes a 4, and we give the 10 to the 6 ones, and we now have 16 ones. 16 ones take away 7 ones is 9. Now, we do the tens place, 4 tens minus 3 tens is 110, 5 hundreds minus 200 is 300. We can check our math by adding 319 plus 237. 9 plus 7 is 16, we regroup the 1 and put the 6 in the ones place. 110 plus 110 plus 3 tens is 5 tens, 3 hundreds plus 2 hundreds is 500. And we have related facts. We have the same three numbers. Here's our 556, that is our sum. Here's our 237, that is our subtrahend. And over here it's an addend. And our 319 difference
becomes another addend. Lisa has 473 postage stamps in her stamp collection. Emma has 294 stamps. How many more stamps does Lisa have than Emma? 473 and 294 are important information. The how many more is a clue to subtract. We need to find the difference between the two numbers. We do 473 minus 294. We look at the ones place and this 3 is less than 4. So we need to regroup from the tens place. The 7 becomes a 6 and we give that 10 to the ones place. Instead of 3 ones, we now have 13 ones and we can take 9 4 away to get a 9. Now we look at the tens place. We had six tens and we needed to take away nine tens. Six is less than nine, so we regroup from the one hundreds place. We give a hundred as ten tens to the tens place. Now instead of six tens, we have sixteen tens. We can take away nine tens and have seven tens left. Then we do three hundred minus two hundred, which gives us one hundred. Now we can check our math with addition. We can add 179 plus 294 and see if we get 473. 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. We regroup the 10 and put the 3 in the 1's place. 110 plus 7 tens plus 9 tens is 17 tens. We can group 10 tens into the 100's place and put the 7 tens down here. We add the 100's. We have 400, and it's the same as our minuend, so we know we did it correctly. We can estimate the difference to know if our answer will be reasonable. 895 minus 747, we can round these to the nearest 10. We mark the 10's place so we make sure we're rounding to the correct place. This 5 tells the 9 to go up one more 10. We have nine tens, we're going to have ten tens, so we're going to add ten tens as one hundred to the hundreds place. That's going to round to nine hundred. Eight hundred ninety-five is very close to nine hundred. This seven is telling the four to go up one and then it becomes a zero. So that rounds to seven hundred fifty. When we have nine hundred minus seven hundred fifty, it equals one hundred fifty. So we know our difference needs to be around one hundred fifty to be reasonable. We have 895 minus 747. We can see 5 is less than 7, so we need to regroup. We take a 10 from the tens place, the 9 becomes 8. We give that 10 to the ones place. Now instead of 5 ones, we have 15 ones. And 15 ones take away 7 ones is 8 ones. Now we do 8 minus 4, which is 4. And we do the hundreds, 8 minus 7 is 1. So our difference is 148. That's very close to 150. Then we can use addition to check our answer. We can add 148 plus 747 to see if our sum is 895. 8 plus 7 is 15. We regroup the 110, put the 5 in the 1's place. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 more is 9. And for our hundreds, 1 plus 7 is 8. We have the same as our minuend over here, as our sum. If our difference is close to our estimate, like 148 was close to 150, we know our answer is reasonable. And if our sum right here is the same as the minuend, we know we did our math correctly. We can find a missing subtrahend by using the difference as a subtrahend. We have 75 minus some number has a difference of 43. We can put the 43 as the subtrahend, do our subtraction, 5 minus 3 is a 2, 7 tens minus 4 tens is 3 tens, we get a 32. That must be the missing subtrahend because the related facts. So 75 minus 32 is equal to 43. 
we can check our work and do the subtraction. 5 minus 2 is 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. Yes, it's 43. And we can do this with three-digit numbers. We have 539 minus some number gives us a difference of 345. We can use the 345 as our subtrahend and see what we get. 9 minus 5 is 4. We have 3, which is less than 4, so we need to regroup from the hundreds place. We take 10 tens as a hundred from the hundreds place. The 5 becomes a 4, and now we give those 10 tens to the tens place. Instead of 3 tens, we have 13 tens minus 4 tens. That gives us 9 tens. We do 4 minus 3 for the hundreds and get 100. That means 539 minus 194 is equal to 345. That's our missing subtrahend. And we can check it with addition. We can do 345 plus 194 and see if we get our menu end. 5 plus 4 is 9. 4 tens plus 9 tens is 13 tens. We regroup 10 tens as 100 and put the 3 down for the 3 tens. And 100 plus 300 plus 100 is 500. We have the same as the menu end. We know we did our math correctly. Tim collected 49 fewer stamps than Bob and Dave collected together. How many stamps did Tim collect? Well, let's look at this table. These are the stamps they collected, their name and the number. Bob collected 261. Dave collected 157. And it's telling us that Tala collected 298. Do we need that information about Tala? It doesn't say anything about Tala in the problem, so that's extra information that we don't need for this. It says collected together. Collected together is a clue that we need to add. So Bob and Dave, their numbers needed to be added together. 49 fewer is a clue to subtract. So once we add Bob and Dave's numbers that they've collected together and we get a sum, we need to subtract 49 to find how many Tim collected. He collected 49 fewer than Bob and Dave together. Bob is 261. We add Dave's 157. 7 plus 1 is 8. 6 tens plus 5 tens is 11 tens. We can regroup 10 tens as 100 and put 110 down here. 100 plus 200 plus 100 is 400. We get 418 that Bob and Dave collected together. We need to subtract 49 from this because Tim collected 49 fewer than this. 418 minus 49. Then we'll know how much Tim collected. We see that this 8 is less than the 9, so we're going to have to regroup from the tens place. We take a 10 from the tens place and give it to the ones place. Now we have zero tens, and our eight ones has now become 18 ones. 18 ones minus nine ones is nine ones. For the tens, we have zero tens minus four tens. Zero is less than four, so we need to regroup from the hundreds place. Four hundreds becomes three hundreds and we give 100 to the tens place as 10 tens. Now we have 10 tens minus 4 tens. That's 6 tens. Then we just drop the 3 down for the hundreds. We now know Tim collected 369 stamps. Now our table is complete. Tala has collected 298 stamps. Her stamp collection book can hold 400 stamps. How many more stamps can she collect to make her book full? The important information is that she has collected 298 stamps and that the book holds 400. We need to find the difference 
between these two amounts. We need to do 400 minus 298. Well, we can make this 298 subtrahend friendlier by adding two. We add it to the minuen and subtrahend. 298 plus two would be 300. That's easier to subtract. But because this is a subtraction problem, we need to add the same amount to the 400, so we have 402 minus 300. We could easily do that mentally. That's 102. That means 400 minus 298 is equal to 102. That means Tala needs to collect 102 more stamps until her book is full. If this confused you, you missed lesson 1.9, and it'll be linked in the description to help you. So remember, when we're subtracting three-digit numbers, it's no big deal. It's just like we did for two-digit numbers. And remember that you can check your subtraction by using addition with related facts. And also remember that we can find a missing subtrahend by using the difference as a subtrahend, like we did here. And see if you get the same amount as the menu end when you add them together to check it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you for the next lesson. Bye!